Welcome back everybody to the channel. It's me, Lala Hunter Mendoza, or the Nerd Chicano. Either way, how you say it, it's all good here. And we're back again for another video as we look at another film in my collection. And yes, I know it has been a long time since I've been on this. Like maybe two weeks or something? Um, and I'm going to be real honest, most of it is because of my recovery for my wisdom tooth. I had to prepare for that trip and then I had to get my procedure done and the recovery. All that took up a lot of time and I wasn't able to properly speak to you all and be able to do this content for you all. But we're back. We're going to get back into the swing of things. We're going to be discussing these movies. And today we're going to be looking at one of my films that I own, one of the films that I own from the Criterion Collection. And that is, of course, the masterpiece, the incredible war film from Elam Klimov, Come and See. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope that everyone's having a good time, happy, healthy, and in good spirits. I hope that you all had a great Barnes & Noble's Criterion sale, and I hope that you're having a great Arrow sale as well. There's also a Kino Orber sale going on at the moment. We've got the three big ones going head to head here. We got a lot of stuff going on, but lots of uh, sales going on, and I hope that everybody's been enjoying those. I have my final haul from my Criterion sale coming soon going to be showing off everything I bought and I'm going to go ahead and uh, post that later this week. If you enjoy physical media, if you enjoy films, TV and all that wonderful stuff about the entertainment industry, then go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Leave a like on this video and click that notification bell so you don't miss a single piece of content that drops on the channel. If you want to watch this video early or get access to some video essays, then patreon.com slash the is the destination for you. Please go and check that out. Of course, it is not mandatory, but it is appreciated. Lots of cool stuff on there, lots of exclusives and lots of goodies. But of course, just watching this video is enough for me. So let's go ahead and stop being around the bush. Let's talk about the mesmerizing, the incredible film, Come and See on Blu-ray from the Criterion Collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, read from the back here and then we'll go ahead and uh, go from there but this is come and see the legendary film from soviet director elam klimov is a census shattering plunge into the dehumanizing horrors of war as nazi forces encroach on his small village in what is now known as belarus teenager fliora alexei krachemko in a searing depiction of anguish eagerly joins the soviet resistance Rather than the adventure and glory he envisioned, what he finds is a waking nightmare of unimaginable carnage and cruelty. Rendered with a feverish, otherworldly intensity by Klimov's subjective camera work and expressionistic sound design, nearly blocked from being made by Soviet censors who took seven years to approve its script, Come and See is perhaps the most visceral, impossible to forget, anti-war film ever made. This comes in as spine number 1035 in the Criterion Collection and included in the Blu-ray Special Edition is a new K digital restoration with uncompressed Mahanero soundtrack, new interview with cinematographer Roger Deakins, new interview with director Elam Klimov's brother and frequent collaborator German Klirbaum, the three 1975 films from Flaming Memory, a documentary series by Viktor Dashuk featuring first-hand accounts of survivors of the genocide during World War II in what is now known as Belarus, interview from 2001 from, with Elam Klimov, interviews from 2001 with actor Alexei Kravchenko and production designer Viktor Petrov, the story of the film Come and See, a 1985 short film featuring interviews with Klimov, Kravchenko, and writer uh, Ales Aldomovich, theatrical re-release trailer, plus essays by critic Mark Lefamu and poet Valzinha Mort. Of course, this is the front of the packaging. This is the back. This is the spine. Open it up. And you have this booklet in here, pretty hefty, that includes the essays. And you have some interesting artwork here as well. This is, of course, of a hopefully of a dead Hitler. And 
then you have um, you know the essays cast and crew information inside here it has the Bible verse that they actually got the title for the film from and when he had opened the fourth seal I heard the voice of the fourth beast say come and see and I looked and beheld a pale horse and his name that said on him was death and hell followed with him revelation 6 7 through 8 and then you have the you know some uh, casting credits orphans of the storm by mark lefanu read and see alice adamovich and literature out of fire by valzinha mort and then you have the transfer notes acknowledgements and special thanks and all of that stuff but it's a pretty hefty booklet lots of good information in here then of course you have the blu-ray disc And the back is just the um, the plane, but nothing too crazy there. Just that's it for the packaging. Pretty simple, but pretty effective pa packaging for this edition of Come and See. This is my second time watching Come and See, and I can't say that it's easier the second time. Um, nothing compares to the first time I watched this film. I watched it with some friends, and I could not explain it but I was left numb, I was left nauseous, and I had, to that point, never had that sort of a reaction to a film before. But I remembered it so well, and I remember just that feeling, and that feeling will never leave me. I was blown away by what I was able to watch, and on the second time, I can tell you, I'm still blown away. First and foremost, the cinematography is incredible. The very subjective camera movements, with the steady cam is incredible. I love the way that they keep it so stable, but also keep it very documentarian. So it's able to present itself as an, an account of the events instead of a fictionalized version. Because to be fair, all of what happened in here happened. It, it was what happened in that time. And having that type of camera movement really helps document it in a way that makes it feel almost documentarian in a way. The sound design is incredible. The performances are just gut-wrenching. But honestly, what gets the most, gets you the most is the story. This movie has nothing that it's holding back. It does not shy away from showing you the brutality. And you're on this journey for, for, for about 142 minutes as you watch Filiora's humanity gets stripped away from him piece by piece to the point where he has to come to a decision whether he sees himself as human at the end and it's a film that has so much to offer and it's a movie that is more of an experience than it is entertainment because if you find this entertaining I don't know what is wrong with you because this movie is not entertaining at all and it is something that is so distraughtly representative of genocide and of the atrocities that were committed in the Eastern Front during World War II. It's a movie that's so arresting and if you ever think that you'll stop thinking about it, you'll, you'll, you just won't. There's shots that will always linger in my head. I also find myself just enthralled with the performance of uh, Krachenko and the way that Alexei's facial expressions, you know, progress through the film. He starts off as this passionate young boy who wants to fight and wants to be a hero and everything is taken away from him. And you can tell that he's, he's pretty much aged like 50 years and he doesn't look like the same person that you see in the beginning of the film. It is an incredible film. It's a film that should be studied by everybody. It should be shown in high school classes. It should be shown mandatory to college students. It's a film that, to me, is one of the most important movies you'll ever watch in your life. I don't think I'll ever stop thinking about this film, and I think that that's the whole point of it. It doesn't want you to stop thinking about it because it wants you to really take in the message of making sure that we never, that we never, ever get back to a point like this, and that we treat each other with at least enough respect to not destroy each other and think that we are beneath each other. Now, let's talk about the restoration. This is a 2K digital restoration with a Mono Euro soundtrack. And I watched this on my Panasonic 4K player, on my 4K TV. And wow, I can tell you this. When I watched this movie for the first time, it was not this restoration. 
the movie had a lot of work to be done. It was very, very uh, messy. It had a lot of grain. It had a lot of blemishes, scratches. The audio was popping a lot. But by God, this disc is incredible. I, I, now I'm remembering. I'm sorry. I, I said it was the second time. It's actually the third time. The second time I watched this was on an Xbox One on a HD TV. It wasn't a 4K. It was a regular standard plasma screen TV. Whereas this time I watched it upscaled in 4K. And I've got to say, it looks really good. The 2K digital work that they did on it really brings out the depth of the black levels and the white levels. And the sharpness and the resolution really does heighten the experience. I really like the regrading on here and I like the way that they were able to emphasize the naturalistic approach of Belarus and it really shows throughout this film that they really took care of this negative and were able to pull out as much detail out of the 35 millimeter original negative as they could. Having, you know, seen that old old print and seeing this new one really does put a lot of things in, res in perspective. Like, there's scenes in the dark where you could barely tell what was going on. Whereas in this disc, it's so clear. It's beautifully remastered and restored. And I've got to say, it's important that we take care of these films and we bring these films and preserve them because something like this probably would have been lost if we didn't restore it and because it's been restored it's able to live for longer and people are able to learn about these events and now that we have this in blu-ray and we have it on a 2k digital restoration not only does it look great but it's able to exist for years to come now like i've said before i don't have a speaker system but the audio is fantastic i love the sound design of this movie and playing it out of my speakers with this new monitor soundtrack really emphasizes the environment of come and see when that mortar drops and Fleora's hearing is lost for a couple of um, a couple of minutes you really see the excellence in the audio track it sounds so good hearing the fire go over his head and the sh and the bullets strain it sounds so good in this track they did an incredible job on this audio soundtrack and were able to preserve what was uh what was brought to life in this film there's no popping there's no hissing there's no skipping nothing that would say that it's a bad transfer it sounds so good it sounds greatly restored and it pairs up with a great video restoration and i've got to say this is prime example of great work from the criterion collection now of course moss film is what undertook the restoration which they did a great job but putting it on this disc Playing it so well on this, on the players and on TV, it just shows the great work that goes into video restoration and film preservation. And if Come and See is one of those examples. Not only is this film one of my favorite films of all time, but it is also one of my favorite transfers of all time. It is one that will not disappoint. And come this November or a flash sale, if you do not have this in your in your collection yet, do consider picking this up. If you want to follow along with me on all things social media, make sure you follow me at The Nerdy Chicano on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Serialize, Letterboxd, and on TikTok. I'm on all those platforms under the same name. Check out what I'm doing with The Nerdcore by following us at TheNerdcore.com, Twitch, and YouTube at The Nerdcore. We're doing a lot of really cool stuff over there, some cool podcasts, and check out all of that wonderful stuff by checking out those three destinations. We'll see each other again as we talk about another film in my collection. But for now, I hope you all enjoyed this one. I hope that you all are enjoying the content now that I'm back. So let's go ahead and keep uh, keep up to date with each other. Let's go ahead and talk to each other, talk in the comments with each other. Have you seen this film? Do you own it? What do you think about it? And yeah, I just am amazed by this movie every single time I watch it. I don't think I can rewatch it again for the rest of the year. But... I'm hoping that somebody might want to do a cinema condition episode of this and I will be very happy to talk about this and be very uh, open to having a long lengthy discussion about this film. But without a further ado, to all my wonderful cinephiles and renowned scholars, celebrate the love of cinema today, tomorrow, and every day after. Catch you all in the next one guys. Peace. <laughs>